Hey guys, this is Dodoid. So for the first episode of our 2017 Advent Calendar series, I thought we'd take a look at this Dell Optiplex 990 desktop. Now, if you remember correctly, I actually uh, dumpster dived this machine earlier this year. If you saw my dumpster diving video, you may remember it. Uh, it's a pretty standard desktop, second generation Intel Core i5, and uh, 8 gigs of RAM if I remember correctly. But uh, this is a good example of the kind of older business machine you might find by dumpster diving in the right place. And I thought today we'd take a look at it as a starter to the Advent Calendar series. As you can see, the front panel looks reasonably boring, pretty standard uh, sort of early 2010s desktop fare. Um, power button's up here, which is a bit different from usual, but nothing too fancy there. The side is boring. The back of the system is pretty typical for one of these smaller pre-built desktops, but there are a couple of strange things about it. First off, the power supply is set about two centimeters into the back of the case. I'm not totally sure why they did that. Looking at the Optiplex 990's I.O. panel, you can see that it's pretty regular looking at the top and bottom, but the middle has this big blank space. My guess is that this is because of the parallel port, which isn't there. On the Optiplex 980, there is a parallel port. Now, the I.O. panel on the 990 was rearranged from the 980, but it seemed like they still didn't really bother filling in the space where the parallel port was. The side panel comes off with this weird latch thing, but that's about as interesting as taking apart this machine gets. As you can see, the internals are just really normal pre-built. Uh, hard drives off in the corner, pretty normal looking green motherboard. That's really all you can say about it. Graphics card is present, but tiny. So what are the specs of this machine like? As you can see, it's got a pretty typical size Dell heatsink. This is covering a uh, i5-2400 underneath. And there's 8 gigs of RAM here, which is pretty good for an e-waste machine. The hard drive's down here. It's one of these little laptop-sized drives, and it's actually on this weird little Dell sled. The funny thing about the sled is that when you take it out, you realize it's not just a drive sled, it's a drive sled mounted in a drive sled. I presume this was done so that you can fit a 2.5-inch drive into the standard 3.5-inch sled. But it's kind of strange to have two drive sleds for one drive all the same. The other thing I noticed about this machine, and I have no idea why the previous owners did this, is it has this splitter adapter, and this was plugged into the hard drive when I got it, despite the fact that there's a perfectly good SATA connector right here and here, and the machine didn't have more than two drives, it only had one. So it's not like they needed to split it into three connectors, it's kind of strange. And the hard drive itself is a 2.5 inch, 500 gig, 7200 RPM mechanical hard drive. Pretty boring stuff, sort of thing you might see in an e-waste laptop as well. The graphics card is... something. Let's take it out and have a look. And like the rest of the machine, the graphics card is boring. It's an AMD of some sort, nothing too fast. The more interesting proposition might be to swap out the cheap AMD card with something more like this NVIDIA 750 Ti which is probably available pretty cheap nowadays, and could probably make this thing into a half-decent low-end gaming machine on an extremely low budget. There's also a Wi-Fi card down here, which is getting more common in desktops these days. Where you might run into trouble trying to upgrade a machine like this would be with the power supply. As you can see, it claims to be 80 plus gold rated, but the total power output is only 265 watts, and it doesn't even have a 6-pin PCI Express power connector, much less an 8-pin CPU connector. Meaning that if you were hoping to swap out the motherboard or graphics card for something that much more powerful, you're either going to have to resort to SATA adapters on a low power card, or switch out the power supply. So that's my e-waste salvaged Optiplex 990. It's a pretty boring machine, but for zero dollars you can't exactly complain, especially given that some of the specifications are actually not all that bad. I might be using this machine in some of the future advent calendar videos if we take a look at some software. So uh, stay tuned if we do do that, you might see this thing show up again. So if you did enjoy the video, then please do make sure to subscribe, there's still a very very small channel and it does help us grow, and until next time, bye!